Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna show you the basics on how to ride a mountain bike trail. Rule number one for this is respect that it is a mountain bike trail. You can hear other riders coming, call it out, get off the track, wait for them to pass, and then you can get back into it and get back out having fun. Let's go. Let's do a quick gear check. I've got my bamboo head in here. I've chucked on some off-road tires. This is gonna give me a little bit of extra grip in the corners where it really matters. It's not necessary, but you will find them beneficial. I've got my helmet up here. A helmet is a very personal choice. The biggest thing is to make sure your helmet fits you. Outside of that, you can pick the style you want. I've got some gloves on. If I take a dive, I wanna make sure I protect my hands. That's gonna help. Knee pads as well, because again, that's a vital thing that I like to protect my knees. When it comes to protection, it is all personal preference, but the more protection you have, the safer you're gonna be. So have a look at what you wanna wear, get out and have some fun. Let's get into it. When you're looking for a mountain bike trail to ride with your electric skateboard, what you wanna look for is something that's a little bit wider, smoother, with as few roots, rocks, and bumps as possible. You wanna find something that's possibly a beginner trail, that's a good place to start. Once you're comfortable with that, then you can start getting a little bit more adventurous. Most mountain bike trail networks you'll find are connected by what we call fire trails. These trails are used by emergency vehicles for accessing those areas. They're generally wider to allow a vehicle in and better maintained. This makes them perfect if you're a beginner to get used to riding off-road. When riding off-road, it's all about weight distribution and your body positioning on the board. When we're riding up or down hills, we want to make sure we have enough weight over the rear wheels because that's what our driving and braking force is coming from. So when we go up here, we want to keep a little bit of weight on the front, but we need to make sure we're still pushing down over the rear. This will keep our traction and we can slowly keep climbing up the hill. So now we've come to our downhill. It's very much like they're going up. We want to keep a lot of our weight over the rear wheel because that's where all of our braking force is coming from. When we're braking, we don't want to apply full brake straight up because you're gonna skid and that's when the board's gonna run away from you. Learning to modulate your speed on the track is the most important thing and this will help you enjoy riding those trails. Mountain bike trails are gonna be riddled with all sorts of different natural obstacles. This is a perfect example of roots and rocks which the board can handle, but if you don't attack it in the right way, it can send you off. For a section like this, it would be important to remember a couple of things. On the entry, we have an angled route here. This is something we want to try to avoid hitting because if you hit your wheels on this straight on, it's going to want to deflect the board to the side. As you can see, we've got a few other loose rocks here. The best idea is to try and avoid a lot of these loose sections. So we'd want to come on the high side where it's a bit more packed dirt and then cut back into the valley and avoid most of these rocks. What we have here is a berm. A berm is a common feature on mountain bike trails and what it is, is essentially a banked corner. When you're approaching a berm, they're quite easy to ride when you know the tips. It's important to maintain your speed through the berm, not accelerating or braking too much as this will change your center of gravity and your balance and you're most likely gonna come off the board. Because the berm is banked, it's gonna naturally wanna help you through the corner. If you turn too sharply on this, you're gonna wind up riding down the inside of the berm and most likely off the track. You can see with this one here, it has a wooden upper. That's because we're on a more serious mountain bike track. If you see these, I wouldn't recommend riding them unless you're Evil Knievel and you really want to give it a good crack. What we have here is a perfect example of a section of track that's going to use all the skills that we're talking about. We've got some natural obstacles up here, which makes the track a little bit more technical, quite bumpy. We've got some roots and rocks, and we're also coming into a berm. So we need to pick our line coming in. We need to know what's through the corner. We need to keep our weight distributed on the board evenly so we keep our control. We wanna keep our knees bent. This is gonna help us with our absorption of those bumps, keeping our weight balanced, and then looking through the corner is gonna help us exit nice and clean. As we're getting to the bottom of the track, we're finding there's a lot of changes in our surface that we're riding on. We've gone from dry dirt to a wetter clay, and now we've got a lot of leaf litter down the side of the track. This means that every one of these surface changes is going to change how the board reacts and how much grip it has as we're riding. It's important to learn how each of these surfaces reacts to the board and then when you're riding a track, scan ahead 
and change how you're riding to suit your trails. We hope you found this video pretty helpful and encouraging to get out there and explore some of your local trails. Remember some of the key rules, respect riders, respect the trails, ride within your limits and always wear your safety gear. Now, we've got to head home and clean up our boards. Don't forget, we have our monthly winner board competition. All you have to do is comment or subscribe on YouTube or like and comment on Instagram. Have fun, guys. You the hottest thing in my path. You really out here breaking necks. I hope you sign in the cast. If they see you walking with me, you can't tease this kind of vibe in my...